Oh, hello, everybody. Uh, all right, Tom Vassal's a liar is the very first thing that's going to be out of my mouth. Because I did not say I was going to play Arkham Horror, the card game. I don't know where he got that. If he said it, he was uh, erroneous. Anyway, hi, everybody. Welcome to uh, a little play along here. Today, I'm going to be playing... Kokoro Avenue of the Kodama and I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing this one along with you now This is gonna be like a weekly thing. I'm gonna do Sometimes I'm just gonna play a solitaire game and so the play along is really just hanging out with me And sometimes you can actually play along like today Kokoro you can actually play along before anything else and uh, I am I am going to be by the way teaching the rules in case you don't know them and I'm also going to be flashing up on the screen what the board for this looks like so that if you're on a computer and you want to follow me along you can screen capture that and then use um, ms paint or something you know uh and and follow me along okay so i will be able to have you play along with me with a little bit of effort on your part even if you don't have the game and then if you really like the game i do recommend that you well then buy a copy all right, so let's take a look here at the comments. Let me make sure everything's cool. Um, all right, let's see. Everything is cool. Da, 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 da. Etch a sketch. Nick's going to use an etch a sketch. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Jordan, good to see you, buddy. Uh, all right. Hello, hello, everybody. All right. I think we are good to go here. Um, like I said, I'm going to be teaching the game, everybody. So you don't have to worry about that. If you do know it, then again, a little patience on your part will go a long way. <laughs> yes, I know effort is, is a terrible thing. All right, uh, so let's switch to a table look to give you an idea of what this is going to look like. There you go. All right, so we've got here all of the moving parts that you are going to need, and I am going to launch into explaining the game. So let me throw up the board. And again, uh, if you want to play along, I am going to uh, put this up right there. You can go ahead and screen capture that, and like I said, just play along by writing on it uh, using, uh, you know, MS Paint or some scribbling app or whatever you want to. And we're hopefully going to have some fun here. Thanks, everybody, for joining in. Justin Maycack is in here. Hi, I'm glad you're excited. Uh, all right, looks good, everybody. I'm, and I'm kind of like over here on the side. Hi. All right, so you go ahead and do that. And I'm going to explain it. All right. Let's move this. I'll bring it back up. If you did not get a chance to capture this, I'll bring it back up. And you can uh, grab it then. It's going to go away for right now. All right, here we go. So this game is going to be played over five rounds. You are going to try to score as high as possible over those five rounds. At the end of the five rounds, you add up your score. Whoever has the highest score is going to be the winner of the game. Each round, I am going to be running the game, of course. And each round, we are going to flip over one of these sanctuary cards. And it's going to tell you which of the various sanctuaries, which are lettered, is going to be scored. So, for example, the first one, let's say, is E. We're all going to uh, write in an E right here at the very first box, and then we can pretty much get rid of that, okay? We're going to, I'll get that off the screen once that's done. And then I will be running the game by flipping over these cards. So I'll flip over a card, it's going to give us a number and a pattern. The patterns are across the bottom here as well, by the way. And then you are going to all have a choice of two things. You can draw that line in without any rotation, without doing anything to it, in any of the squares in here. Or you may look, not write it, and instead look at the upcoming sanctuary. This is going to be a little bit tricky. If you don't want to write it in, 
We're just going to give everybody a moment to go ahead and, you know, uh, use the line if they so choose. Those of you that want to peek ahead and start getting ready for the next sanctuary, I'll just give everybody a few seconds to look at it, then I'll hide it again. And the rest of us that haven't, quote unquote, paid for that yet, we'll just, we'll just look away, okay? And I'll make sure I'm verbalizing that so that nobody makes a mistake. Good? So we'll continue flipping these over until we get four of the golden ones. So, for example, some of them are going to be these golden ones. <clears throat> that would be a very short round. And some of them look like this, okay? If it's these, that's fine. We just keep on going. As soon as we get four of these golden ones, which, as you saw, could be very quickly, then we stop that round and everybody scores. So what are you scoring? Well, all of the caterpillars and flowers connected to whichever one is the current sanctuary, in this case, E. So let's say I got five, I flipped over five and I did that across that square. And then maybe I got a one after that and I did this, connecting those to the sanctuary. And then after that, uh, oh, I had a curve that went like that, let's say, and I went through that one, okay? And eventually we get four of those yellows and we have to score. Well, my score would be for E, one, two, three, four. That's how many little features I have crossed and connect it to E. So I'm going to write a 4 right here. You're all going to do that for yourselves. Then I'll wipe these cards away. We're going to reveal the next sanctuary, which some of you may have seen by that point, right? You'll write it down here. And then we keep going. I continue flipping cards. We're going to go through this entire deck. Now, here's the trick. At the uh, end of each round, you are going to score points for the current sanctuary only if... The score would be higher than what you got for the previous sanctuary. So, I score four points for E. The next one, let's say it is uh, D there, okay? Better be more than four for me, or I'm going to score a zero. And so I would write a zero there if I did not connect at least, you know, more than four. Uh, so that's how that's going to work. And then at the end of the game, those zeros actually rather penalize you, as you'll see. So we do that. We play those five rounds. Then at the end of the game, we are going to get a couple of bonuses. You're going to get a bonus for this corner right here. Every caterpillar connected to the, the lady there is going to give you a bonus point. And then down here, this little lion character, he wants those uh, flowers. So for every flower connected to this corner, you are going to get a point. You write those down. This next space here, we don't have to worry about. We're not going to play with that. And then you are going to add up the totals for that. And for every zero you got, meaning you busted on that escalating score, it's actually negative five points. Okay, minus five points for that. We're going to add all that up and figure it out. And then we'll see who the winner is. So there you go. Now, that's the entire thing. Give me some comments uh, or give me some questions rather in the comments if you need me to say anything again, if I missed anything. You want to double check anything before we get going. I'll shuffle those guys, put them down there, and I'll shuffle these and put them down there. Uh, that is correct. You have to cross the sanctuary, not just up against its side, the side of the square. You actually have to go through the square, as I did. Here. You have to actually go through the sanctuary, then those are connected. If it was just to, to there, that's not connected, okay? All right, any other questions, everybody? The lion wants flowers. Yes, it makes sense. One point per caterpillar and one point per flower. That is correct, yes. Um... Again, the way these are going to work out is if anybody wants to see one early, uh, I will flash it on the screen. I'll count. I'll tell everybody, okay, look away, everybody. Here's the letter. Okay, one, two, three. It's going away. And I would hide it again. Uh, all right. Sounds good. I will flash this back up on the screen if anybody wants to grab it. There you go. 
Okay, and again, like I said, this is, uh, if you end up liking the game and you feel like you get a value out of this, I want to make sure the company feels, you know, happy about me throwing this up here on the screen. So buy a copy, you know? It, this, it's not like I'm making the whole thing available, but, you know, I want to, I want them to uh, feel good about this. And me too. Can the paths cross? You cannot ride in the same square more than once, if that's what you mean. But they don't have to line up. You know, think of, you know, the, like the rivers in Carcassonne, it does not have to be like that. You can have the line not, you know, work, but you cannot rewrite in the same square. I hope that makes sense. I'll just show you on my screen. Everybody got it? Hey, Kabuki Kid, how you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, you can make dead ends, you can start new roads, that is correct. Thank you. Grundelo is on point. Does it make any difference whether you get a flower or a worm, or is it just eye candy? It does not make any difference for the sanctuaries. It does make a difference for the two characters in the corners that give you bonuses at the end. But no, for the sanctuaries, it's the same. Each one of those little things is a point. Are we good, everybody? All right, this is going off the screen. And we're going to do it. All right. Here we go. So, uh, let's do it. The first one is going to be F. So everybody go ahead and write down F in the first one there. F is the first one. All right. This is going away now. And this is, by the way, those of you asking, uh, Dilson says uh, that they already have Avenue. Yeah, this is basically Avenue. This is the reprint of Avenue. There are more things in the box than came with Avenue, but it's a reprint of that for sure. Hello from Portugal. Very nice to see you. All right, this is going away now. Let's not worry about that. And we're starting. Let's do it. Three. All right. You can put this again anywhere you want to. You'll be able to see mine, but, you know, ignore it. All right. If anybody wants to see this, I will flash it on the screen in a moment. Okay, anybody who should not see this, don't look. Here we go in three, two, one. I'm showing it. Three, two, one. I'm hiding it again. There we go. Okay. Next up, a two. All right. Hmm, a two. I'm going to put that right here. Okay. Anybody who wants to look at this now, we're going to do that. Here we go. We're going to show this in three, two, one. Look away if you're not supposed to see this yet. Here it is. Three, two, one. I'm hiding it again. It's gone. Okay. All right. Next up. Three. And that's the first golden card. Like I said, when we get to four, we're done scoring this sanctuary. And it's another three. All right. Hmm. I'm going to do that. If anybody doesn't want to take that three and instead wants to look at the card over here, just hang on one sec and I'll show it. All right, is everybody cool? Is everybody following me along, by the way? Yeah, this is all making sense. The flow of showing you this and you looking away when you shouldn't. Again, that's the, that's the adjustment that we need to 
that we need to do because, you know, normally at the table you could just look. Uh, thank you, Kabuki Kid. Hopefully this works. I hope you're playing along, too. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Here we go. I'm showing it if anybody didn't take that but instead wants to look. Here we go. I'm going to look at it in three, two, one. Look away if you're not supposed to see this. Three, two, one. Card is going away. There we go. All right. Let's continue. Next up, we've got a four. A pattern on a four and the second silver card. And I'm going to... Hmm. Uh-huh. I'm going to do this. All right. All right, cool. Anybody who wants to look at this thing and did not take that four, instead just wants to look, here we go in three, two, one. Look away if you're not supposed to see this. I'm showing it. And three, two, one. I'm hiding it again, and it's gone. Okay. Cool. We are continuing. All right, we have a six, and this is the third golden card. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what am I doing here with this? Right there, that's what's happening. All right, Kabuki Kid, good luck to you, braving the wilds. <laughs> All right, anybody who did not want that six and instead wants to peek ahead, here we go. I'm going to show it to you, so look away if you took the six. If you did not and you want to see this, here it is in three, two, one. Look away if you're not supposed to see this. Three, two, one. It's going away again. All right. Next card coming up. It is the fourth yellow card. So this round will be over after we use this, okay? Uh, there's n not really a reason to look at this right now because you would see it in a second anyway. So I'm not going to flip it. Uh, so the two. The two is going to go for me right here. I'm going to do that. All right, everybody use that two. Or don't. It's up to you. All right. For those of you who might be a little bit lost, it'll make more sense at the end of this first round, hopefully. All right. So that's that. I'm moving along here. So these are going to go away. And we are all going to score. We're going to score for F. So you count everything connected to F right now. So for me, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have four in this corner, five, six, seven right there. I'm going to write a seven right there. And. Uh, da, da, da. Yeah. And then the next one, which some of you may have known already and started working towards, is C. So the next one was uh, C. That's going away. You want to go ahead and write that down, the C, if you, if you hadn't already, unless you're ahead of us. Uh, and so now, for C, once four of those golden cards come up, which, you know, we don't really know exactly when, when it'll happen, at the end of those four golden cards, if your C is at least seven, and I'm pretty sure it has to match at least seven. Let me double check on that one. Um, da -da -da. 
No, it has to be uh, not the same, more. So if the C is not connected to at least eight features for me, okay, then I'm going to get zero for that, which is actually negative five at the end of the game, minus five. Um, so that's how that works. You must continue going up. At some point, I probably will fail, and it kind of resets the count, right? Because then the next one just has to be higher than zero. Uh, all right. Four is a good score. I see somebody got a four. Very nice. Uh, yeah, it's more. Thank you, Justin. That is correct. Let's keep going, everybody. So C is next. Here we go. A five. Huh. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. I'll take a five. Yeah, the seven's really high. I know. It, it'll probably bite me uh, really soon. <laughs> I know. Uh, the number of gold cards is, is correct. So that means we need four for each of the rounds. So 20, right? There's four times five rounds. It will, we, we will not go through the deck again. We go through the deck one time. <laughs> Connect temples um, to each other? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you can do that. And in fact, you you can you try to sort of piggyback on previous lines to get the scores really high up. You know, like if D is going to be next, and I can connect it to... I know it's not, but I mean, like after this. I could connect it to this previous line for myself, then I piggyback on, on that seven. All right, here we go. We're going to look at this in just a second for anybody who wants it now, who did not use the five, but instead wants to look at this. I'm going to look at it in three, two... One, look away if you're not supposed to see this. There it is. And we are going to hide it in three, two, one. You can look at the screen again. All right. Good. Let's keep going. Next up, another five. And no golden cards yet. All right. Five. I'm going to go, boy, this way. Yeah, I'm going to do that. All right. Does the number on the card mean anything? The number on the card matches the la the pattern on the line. So no, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just the pattern. So for example... You'll see across the bottom there, the five is always a, a horizontal line. The six is always vertical. That's all the number means. It just ties to the shape. Um, okay, the, the screen, the hidden card doesn't need to be on the screen that much. And then I will be quicker about it if everybody's cool with that. All right, that's it. We're going to go ahead and show this one then. I'm going to show it in three, two, one one that's the next one all right and it's gone next up a four a four hmm all right it's getting tricky now Uh, you can roll a, a die and not need cards. No, not really, because um, you have to have the right amount of each bend. So, no, you can't roll a die. You, it won't simulate the correct deck. You also won't know which ones are golden, right? You don't know when the, the end of each round would happen. Okay, I can go quicker. No problem. All right, everybody, looking at this, if anybody wants to, three, two, one, look away. There it is, and it's gone. All right, next up, five. Sweet. <laughs> All right, it's a five. We got two golden ones. Anybody who's not taking this five. Make up your mind about that pretty quick, because I'm going to show this in three, two, one. 
There it is. All right, and it's gone away. You can look again. All right, next up. Everybody good? Another five, jeez, okay. All right. Hmm. All right, anybody not taking that five can now look at this. Here we go, three, two, one, I'm showing it. And it's going away, done. All right, next up, another golden one. This is the third golden one, and it's that band, a three. If um, we get the fourth golden one, that's it. So for this one, hmm. I think I'm gonna weigh myself and I'm gonna look. I'm not gonna write that three in. So here we go, we're gonna look at this, anybody who wants to, in three, two, one. And it's going away. And I'm not gonna write it on my board because you'll see it. I'll just remember. Um, next up, we've got a four. A uh, four, and this is getting pulled away because I don't want you to know what's up. Hey, 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 hey. All right, here we go. Anybody wants to look at this? Three, two, one. There it is, and it's going away again, and it's gone. All right, next up. I just drew a four, man. What do you want? You want another one? Here we go. Nope. All right, that's a two. Hmm. All right, and this is the last one, everybody. That two is the last golden card we needed for this round. So use that two or don't. And once that's done, we're going to score. Everybody good? Here's what my board looks like. Don't cheat. Blammo. All right. So let's figure out what our scores are, everybody. I got four, five, six, seven, eight. I was able to pull this off. Just barely, but I pulled it off. All right. So I helped you out. Nice. Wolf Force has the, the power to call on whatever they want. All right, let's look at the next one, which is B, for those of you who did not know that yet. Uh, I really like this game, Lisa. Yeah, I think it's a great game. It's very fun. Obviously, it goes a little quicker when I don't need to do this online, but hopefully everybody who is playing is having fun. And you can still play this, by the way, if you're not catching this live, you can play this later. Just play along with me running the game and see how you did. I'll call out the best scores at the end, you know. Uh, we do the flowers and the worms only at the end for these two things on the corners. That's just one time at the end, yeah. All right, so here we go. We're going to start the next one for B. I'm sorry, Justin. Uh, <laughs> you needed that one. I, it's coming. It's coming right now, the one you need. See? Oh, it's just a little late, buddy. All right. Uh, don't forget, everybody, B is what's next. I'm going to write that down. And this can go. All right, so we got a one. A one. A one is garbage. Hot garbage. And it's already a golden card, so I, that makes me worry about my score for B. I'm going to peek. I'm not going to use the one. I'm going to peek. All right, everybody. So we're going to look at this in three, two, one one don't look right now if you're not supposed to see this and it's going away now it's gone and i have to remove my board because then you'll know what's up <laughs> all right let's bring this in a little bit here for you uh all right next up a six and the second golden one what was this I already looked, so. All right. 
So there we go. There's your six. And now that's two golden cards already. We're going to look at this, everybody, at the sanctuary. Look away if you're not supposed to see this in three, two, one. Here's what it is. And it's going away. Gone. All right, next up. It's another six. All right. Anybody who wants to look at this now instead of taking that secondary six? Here we go. Three, two, one. Look away for a moment. And it's gone. All right, good. Next up after that, a one. All right, there's a pattern. I see what's happening. Hmm. All right. Still two golden cards only. Uh, yeah, if you connect one, if you basically hook up to an old path, Serial Heroes, then you will count those when we score the upcoming Sanctuary. Yes, that's how that works. So you can sort of, you know, hitch up to a previous line, score it again for the for the new Sanctuary, okay? Okay, we're looking at this, everybody. Look away if you're not supposed to see it yet. And there it is. And it's going. All right, next up. It's another six. What is going on? Hot garbage. Hot pockets. <clears throat> All right. Anybody who wants to look at this. Here we go. One, two, three. Look away. That's enough. Next up, a three. Hey, it's different. That's good. A three. Hmm. All right. I think I can work with that. Okay, here's the card. Look away if you don't want it. Three, two, one. Look away, look away, look away. And it's gone. Next up, another three. Ooh, only two gold cards so far. So maybe you'll be able to catch up if you feel a little, you know, if you feel a little behind on this one. By the way, one of the sanctuaries is not scored. For those of you paying attention, there are six on the board. We're only doing five rounds. So you won't know that quite yet. Um, hmm, a three, a three, hot garbage, that is really terrible, I don't want it, all right, here it is, Uh, the playmat, this is from Quiver Gaming Gear, is where this playmat is, is from. So here we go. Anybody who wants to see this? There it is, and bam. Done, it's gone. All right. There's the next card, it's a one. There's your one. Dutch Yoda is happy. Ooh, a one you've given me. That's not a very good Yoda. All right, what am I gonna do here? I'm gonna do that. And that is the third golden card, so we've still got one more. Uh, all right, I'm gonna show the sanctuary, everybody. Look away for a second, you're not supposed to see this. One, two, three, look away, look away, look away, look away. And it's hidden again. All right, next up. This is the final golden card. And it's a three. And I say pack a poop onto that. Oh, it sucks. That is hot, messy garbage. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. I don't want it. I think I don't want it. All right, and that's it, everybody. Uh, so these are going to go away. This is what my board is looking like these days. Oh, sorry. There we go. And I'm scoring B, which I did not get enough connected to. I needed to have a... Uh, come on, focus. I needed to have at least 9, and I did not get that. I connected 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm getting a big 0, which is actually going to turn into a negative 5 down here, like I said. Come on, focus. Come on, buddy. Come on, focus. You jerk. Ah, that's okay. All right, next up, it was going to be... Bloop! The A. So the A is next, everybody. Why are you, why are you being a pain right now? Camera, come on. There you go. Come on, you find it. Find it! All right, it kind of found it. Uh, four, five, ten so far. Four, eight, fifteen. That's a that's a big score. That's great. All right, so A, everybody, write that down. And like I said, there's two left, but the bottom one we're not playing with, so I'm gonna set that aside. This is actually the final sanctuary that we are scoring. That's gone. Here we go. We're starting with a six. Uh, and we're working on A right now. All right. All right. Anybody who doesn't want that six, can we skip shapes? You can skip. Yeah, because again, your choices are draw or look at this. So if you looked at it already you can just take that quote-unquote type of turn again where you just say okay i'm not drawing that that whatever i'm just looking again even though you get no new information you're skipping drawing so yes yeah, so you can just not use one okay for the first not used one you get to know what that is make sense uh five zero six oof all right those are pretty good scores guys i'm gonna get whooped Four, eight, eleven. All right, let's look at this. Anybody who wants to see this already and they skip that six, here we go. We're going to look at it in three, two, one. Here it is, and it's going away, and it's gone. Okay. Next up. First golden one, and it's a two. Really? Really? Ooh, what could it be? I think I need to know what this is. I think I need to know what that is, so I'm not using that too. <laughs> uh, yeah, I need to know which of these two that's missing it is because of the way my board has sort of shaped up. I'm about to close down one if I don't, if I'm not careful. So, uh, all right, everybody who used this, don't look. Anybody who skipped it, let's take a look at what this is in three two one there it is and we are going to hide that again and it's hidden and i am pulling this away again because i don't want you to see what i start working towards that's all all right next up we've got another six hmm All right. All right, Justin, thanks for hanging out, man. Appreciate it. You can always come back and play later, I guess. Um, all right, everybody, we're going to take a look at this one here. Anybody who's not supposed to see it, don't look. Here we go in three, two, one. Here's what's coming up. And it's hidden again. Next up. 
Okay, second golden card, and it's a one. A one, really. Fine. All right, I'm good there. We're going to take a look at this. Uh, look away if you're not supposed to see it. In three, two, one, that's what it is. And it's gone. And next card is a five. And that's the third golden card. Oh, boy. Okay. Here we go. We're going to take a look at this. Uh, everybody look away for a second. In three, two, one. We're looking. Don't look if you're not supposed to. And it's gone. Okay, you can look again. Next up, everybody, is the final golden card. And it's a six. And everything is terrible. Everything is terrible. Everything just sucks when I needed a different number from that deck of cards. Oh, it's so terrible. Do I even want that? <clears throat> okay. Whoop. Uh, I guess I'll do this. All right, that is that, everybody. Let's score our boards. So, let's see what I got. Um, we're scoring A. And A for me, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right. And the next one, the last one, uh, let's see, serial zeros, if I got less than last round, I mark it a zero, right? Yes, correct, you mark it a zero. And that means the next round, as long as you get at least a point, then it's higher than the zero, okay? Um, and that's the final one. So here we go. Two. Don't forget about those bonuses, everybody. Two. Next up, a one. All right, next up, a four. Four, I don't want to do that. All right. Next up, a one again, and that's our uh, second golden card. Oh, come on, I need this. Ooh. This is getting bad for me. A one. So I need a three or two fives something okay that's good a five Whew. Uh, 
All right, here we go. Not gold, not gold, not gold. Okay, a two. A two. All right. Do that. Everybody good? Here we go. <laughs> All right, a five. Yes! Yes! Big time. Whoop! Even though that is done now. Oh, no, I can still grow it. Oh, guys, you just got wrecked. That's it. Oh, it's, it's the old classic 5-5 five, five move. Well known in the annals of Kokoro plays. Next up. That's the final one, and it is a three, and that's actually great for me, because I can put it right there. Blamo! Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Cervantes. Um, cool. I think I did pretty well on this last one. You got that three. You needed the three. You got the three. Oh. Wait, wait you needed another three? <laughs> All right, everybody. Uh, let's score this up. That is it. So let me see what I got. Okay, I got 27 on that one. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, yeah, 27. Um, 30, woof, man, all right, let's see. Okay, now worms, like I said, and uh, or the caterpillars and the little flowers, so everything connected to it of that type is one point. So here we go. I'm going to do my own, and you can follow this along if you're not sure what's going on. You know, if not, you're good. One, two, three caterpillars, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen with that one. And then for the flowers, for my man right here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I have one, uh, this is nothing. I have uh, a score that I'm gonna do on my copy. Let's see. Is that right? Okay. So it looks like it's 81 for me. This is 20, 27, and another 27, plus 27 again. That's weird. Yeah. Uh, and then minus 5, because I, I got one wrong, making my final score 76. All right, what do we got, people? There it is. 45 minus 5, yeah, okay, 40, final score, 72. Nice, good stuff. Uh, 72, okay. 30 and 47, nice. Grundalo, 30 for you, 47 for your wife, yeah. Michael has 58. Only one point for the worms, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they can add up for sure. We'll force a 40 point total. Uh, Runar got 95, and they have to go. Yep, the police is looking for you with that score. <laughs> Uh, all right, let's switch it back up here to just my face. Uh, here we go. Yeah, the scores are going to be all over the place. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I think the highest thing we've seen is the guy who left and said he had 95, yeah. Which, again, uh, I'm thinking, they, you know, they're running away. That's what that feels like. 86 Dutch Yoda, who's still around and got an 86, is the honorary winner. <laughs> uh, 52. There it is, 95. <laughs> Very nice, everybody. Good job, y'all. I hope you had fun. Um, we're going to do, like I said, we'll be doing, I'll be doing one of these maybe once a week. And they're not always going to be, I'm always calling them play-alongs. But sometimes they'll be rolling rights or flipping rights like this. And you can actually play along, okay? And sometimes I'm just going to play something solitaire and you can, quote unquote, play along with me. You know, I'll take your suggestions in the comments, stuff like that. So... Uh, yeah, that's basically that. I hope you had fun. Thanks, everybody. Again, if you like the game and you uh, want to pick up a copy, do so. Um, let me know in the comments below if you have, uh, you know, what you thought of it. If you liked the way I ran it. If you um, would change anything. You know, I'm looking for feedback to see what I can do in the future. Make these enjoyable for everybody and, uh, you know, get together and have a good time. So that's going to be it for me. Thanks, y'all, for trouncing me. And really just for playing along. I had a good time running this. And uh, I thank you again uh, for hanging out with me. Uh, Trails of Tucana is one I am thinking about, guys. So that, that might be coming up. I need to figure out a way to adjust some of the rules that require, uh, well, a couple of things. But yeah, I'm looking into it. All right. I am out of here, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. My name is Z Garcia. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.